Hey guys, Mesa here. So, um, a quick update on New Worlds. Um, they've posted the server list on their Twitter, and um, they've got all these server names um, open uh, for you to, you know, read and decide which servers you want to play on. Um, from the looks of it, it's all a combination of the server names from closed and open beta. Um, they've got a decent amount of servers in NA, um, East and West. Uh, Central Europe got a ton of server. Um, they've also confirmed that they'll have language suggestions on you know which server to play on um, for Central Europe, um, for Asia and other places you know South America. They've got some servers as well, but for, there isn't a close proximity server in Japan or Singapore uh, for Asia where I'm playing from. So we'll have to play on Australia servers where you know the ping isn't that ideal but um we're look we're, we're, we're seeing um news that they will be uh asia servers later and um judging by the number of servers um you know they're expecting a lot of people to play which should be the case um and uh if you know if you're worried you know the the, the player place would be too segmented too scattered um because they also announced earlier that uh, all the player character names are shared through uh, you know across all servers so i think it's it's a sign that they'll look to you know merge servers with you know small player count or or just merge servers in general so uh, i wouldn't be too worried about it um and judging from you know the hype and everything that's in closed beta and open beta we're expecting you know a lot of people um going into new worlds on launch so you know for the first few weeks or a few months we're, we're, we'll probably see a large player population um it will only be you know when the you know high-end content are out and you know, everyone's you know close to max level when maybe some players would shift back to other games but we'll see you know what what new world has you know in place um to keep the game fresh but uh yeah and uh, also they've said that in central europe um you know there's a large uh diversity in language there'll also be suggestions on language uh servers like uh, what kind of language you speak you can go to different servers you know um, kind of funnel players into that server in particular for certain demographics um so yeah that's a, just a quick update and uh there'll also be They've also been some news about uh, allowing players to pre-download the official game uh, one day before the game launch. So um, we'll have more news on this channel for you. Uh, stay tuned.